Welcome to Differential Equations, Chapter 2, Section 1. This section actually focuses on linear equations. So we have this generalized format. It's dy dt plus p of t times y is equal to g of t. So whenever we're solving this, we always want to find some mu of t, which is actually going to be equal to e to the integral of p of t dt. And um, we'll actually multiply all of them by mu of t. So it's going to be mu of t times dy dt plus mu of t times p of t and times y. And that is going to be equal to mu of t times g of t. This left side is actually going to be product rule. So you'll actually have the derivative with respect to t of y times mu of t. And then you're going to have mu of t times g of t. You can move the dt over to this side through multiplication. And then we're going to integrate both sides. So then these two cancel, meaning you'll have y times mu of t, which is equal to the integral of mu of t times g of t dt. And then this will actually be the solution. Um, you just have to move the mu of t over to this side through division after integrating to find your solution. So in this case, we have dy dt plus 2y is equal to 3. So um, we're actually going to multiply everything by some function called mu of t because we know this isn't um, separable. So we're going to have mu of t and we're going to have dy dt plus mu of t times, we'll actually put the 2 out that way, times y is equal to 3 mu of t. And what, we're, what the goal is, is to have this left side be equal to some product rule. So we can eventually integrate this side and this side, and we'll get our y of t. So what we do every single time is we know mu is going to be equal to e to the integral of p of t. We'll actually just write that out quick. p of t dt. If this variable is x, you can put p of x dx, but in this case, we do have dt. So p of t is actually what is next to this um, function, or this y. And in this case, it's 2. It could be some crazy polynomial. It doesn't really matter. You're going to use the same technique with any linear equation. So this is going to be equal to e times the integral, or e to the integral of 2 dt. We know the integral of 2 dt is going to be 2t, so it's going to be e to the 2t. So we'll actually put that in now. So we're going to have e to the 2t dy dt plus 2e to the 2t y, which is equal to 3e to the 2t. So now if we look on this left side, we have product rule. Um, we'll actually just write that out quick. So it's the derivative of um, e to the 2t times y. So if we take product rule of this, um, we'll start off just with the derivative of y. It's dy dt times e to the 2t. And then this would be 2e to the 2t plus y. Or multiplied by y, excuse me. And then now we're trying to integrate both sides because we have both sides integrable. And this is actually dt. We can move the dt over to this side. But that doesn't really matter. So we'll take the, in the integral of both sides. Integral and derivative cancel. So we're going to have e to the 2ty is equal to the integral of 3e to the 2t dt. So we're going to take the 2t and we're going to move it down in the denominator. So it's going to be 3 over 2e to the 2t plus c. And then we can just move the 2t over. 
And this means that we're going to have oops, 3 over 2, the e to the t e to the 2 t's will cancel, plus c over e to the 2 t. In this problem, we have dy dt plus 1 half y is equal to 2 plus t. So we're going to try and find the mu of t once again. And remember, mu of t is equal to the e to the integral of, oops, can't see that, e to the integral of p of t dt. And e, so then p of t is once again the thing connected to the y. In this case, it's 1 half dt, which means it's going to be e to the t over 2. So we're going to multiply each one by e to the t over 2 plus e to the t over 2 over 2 times y is equal to e to the t over 2 times 2 plus t. So this is actually product rule of e to the t over 2 times y. So we'll write d dt times e to the t over 2, whoops, not dy dt, just y. And that is equal to, um, we'll actually expand this out. So we'll have 2e to the t over 2 plus te to the t over 2. So we're going to move the dt over dt, cancel that out, and then we can integrate both sides. So derivative and integral both cancel meaning that we can just have e to the t over 2 times y. And then the integral of this, so we have 1 half, and we're going to move that into the, into the denominator, which means that it's actually going to be 2. So 2 times 2 is going to be 4. 4e four to the t over 2 plus, and then we'll integrate this. This is actually going to need integration by parts, so we'll just leave it like this for now e to the t over 2 dt. And we'll actually use the ta uh, tabular method today. So we're going to have this is the derivative, this is the integral, and we're going to have t and then 1 and 0, e to the t over 2, 1, whoops, integral, so 2 e to the t over 2, 4 e to the t over 2. We're going to have the positive, negative, positive, and we're going to go down the, the diagonal. So we'll actually rewrite all of this so we have a little bit of space. Equals 4e to the t over 2. And this is all going to be added. Probably is going to be the, some negative signs. So we're going to have, multiplying this down, we'll have 2te to the t over 2 minus... 4e to the t over 2. We'll simplify this further, and we will have 4e to the t over 2 plus, and we're going to take the e, whoops, fix that up, the e to the t over 2 out, which comes to 2t minus 4. We can actually divide the e to the t over 2 now, which actually cancels that, so it's going to be 4. Oh, we can't forget the plus c also. <laughs> we'll add them on both. Okay, so the e to the t over 2's cancel on both sides, so 4 plus 2t minus 4 plus c. And then we'll actually cancel these 4's out which is 2t plus c. In this next problem, we have dy dt minus 2y is equal to 4 minus t. Once again, we're trying to find some mu of t, which is equal to e to the integral of p of t. p of t is actually negative 2 in this case, which means e to the negative 2t. Okay, and we'll multiply it by each one. So we're going to have e to the negative 2t dy dt minus 2e to the negative 2t times y is equal to e to the negative 2t 
4 minus t. And once again, we've got product rule on this side. So we're going to write d dt e to the negative 2t times y. And then we'll move this out. We'll expand it, which means we'll have 4e to the negative 2t minus t e to the negative 2t. We can move the dt over to this side. And then we'll integrate both sides. Integral and derivative both cancel, meaning we'll have e to the negative 2t y which is equal to these integrals. So we're going to have 4e to the negative 2t. Um, the negative 2 will go into the denominator, so it will actually be negative 2e to the negative 2t. And then this we're going to need integration by parts. So we'll make the table once again. d integral and it's times it's minus the negative integral, so we'll actually um, write this out again just to not mess up any signs. So we'll have t1 0 e to the negative 2t minus 1 half e to the negative 2t plus um, 1 fourth e to the negative 2t. We'll add the positive, negative, positive. Rewrite all of this. e to the negative 2ty is equal to negative 2e to the negative 2t minus this quantity. So we're going to go down the diagonals once again. So we have this negative sign, so we're going to have negative t over 2e to the negative 2t. And then we have negative sign, so it's going to be subtracting once again. And then it's going to be 1 fourth e to the negative t. Oops, 1 fourth e to the negative 2t. And then we're going to add the plus c. We're going to fix all of these negative signs into positive signs because we're subtracting negatives. Oops, that's pretty bad. Okay. And then we're going to factor out this e to the negative 2t. So e to the negative 2ty is equal to negative 2e to the negative 2t plus e to the negative 2t times t over 2 plus 1 fourth plus some constant. So we're going to take take out the, we're going to multiply this side by e to the 2t, multiply these sides, this side by the e to the negative, ooh, e to the 2t, excuse me. So then we're going to have y is equal to negative 2 plus t over 2 plus 1 fourth plus c e to the 2t. Now we'll simplify this just a bit more and we'll have e to the negative, let's see that's 8, so negative 7 fourths plus t over 2 plus c e to the 2t. In this problem, we have ty prime plus 2y is equal to 4t squared. What we, what we want to do is we always want to have this y prime isolated. We don't want to have, that, to have any function um, or, or constant next to it. So we're going to actually divide all sides by t. So this is going to get us y prime plus 2 over ty is equal to 4t. And now we can find the mu of t. So this is going to be e to the negative integral of 2 over t this time, dt. This goes to e to the, let's see, um, 1 over t is going to be ln of t, and absolute values, ln of t. And we have this 2 out there, so it would be technically 2 ln of t. But if we remember the natural log rules, we can actually um, move this up and make this t squared. And so we'll have t squared right there. The e and the natural log both cancel, meaning that we actually just get t squared. So we'll multiply each one by t squared, meaning we'll have t squared y prime plus the, one of the t's will cancel. So 2t y is equal to 
t times t squared, which is t cubed. So once again, on the left side, we actually do have product rule. So this is going to be the derivative of t squared y. And then we have 4t cubed. We're going to move the dt over to this side. And we're going to integrate both sides. Derivative integral cancel. So we're going to have t squared y is equal to, and then if we want to integrate this, so we move this exponent up one. So we have t to the fourth and then divide by four, meaning this is just t to the fourth plus c. And then we'll take out the t squared, divide both sides by t squared, meaning we will have y is equal to t squared plus c t to the negative two. And then we have this initial condition, which is y of one is equal to two. So we can say y is equal to two. So we have two is equal to, and then we have t is gonna be one. So one squared, one squared is gonna be one, and then one, squ um, one squared in the denominator is still gonna be one. So plus c, so c is actually gonna just be one. So we will actually just finish out the problem by writing it with the c value, so plus t to the negative two. And that's our solution.